what was the kernel of the idea about astronauts wanted? Well, I think the, there, there is a through line. I mean, it's about young adults who are creators now more than ever before, and they have the tools to create, and they're fascinating. And there's, it's much more democratized than it ever was. There's many more places, chances, platforms, players than ever before. It was fascinating. So I thought, why do something I've already done when I manage the greatest collection of cable brands ever? And I wanted to jump in and follow the audience as I've spent my whole career doing. And um, this is clearly where they are. I like the new breed of talent. They're very different. They create their own universes, their own communities, their own businesses. And so we thought there would be a place for to try and create good content for all these new platforms, working with some of the talent like we have here tonight. And um, and that it was that simple. And Sony Music said, please come and do this with us. So I said, so okay. What is the relationship with Sony Music Business? I mean, I know they're a partner with you guys, but uh, operationally or uh, how does that Tell us about that relationship. Well, I think they give us a certain amount of like cred and gravitas when you say Sony Music is your partner. Um, it's a very hands-off kind of relationship. It's a joint venture, but we're in a different business than they're in, and they're very interested because obviously they're in you know they're in the young adult business as well. Their medium is music. Um, ours is a different kind of content, and they're just there to be sort of supportive cheerleaders, funders, partners, and they've been really, you know, excellent. What is it that you want to communicate about the mission of, of your company and the editorial sort of DNA, if mm -hmm. you will? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's back to what Judy was saying about audience, audience, audience is, is you know, we're entering a period where millennials are aging out of the youth demo at the top end, you know, we've got a new generation coming in with Gen Z, and so every time a generation shifts, tastes change, Stories change, the way to tell those stories changes, and and it's it's, it's al it almost always takes the entertainment industry off guard when that happens. So we want to try and just position ourselves right at that inflection point as that's happening, and say who who are this who are this new generation? Uh, what are the new narratives that can be inside that generation? And how do you tell stories differently for this generation? And so I would say that this talent, these shows, um, this lineup that we've got here tonight, and everything else that we're doing is really going after that, solving that problem. Um, for the for the marketplace um, and against the competition. As Nick said, it's been a long inflection point, and um, I think if you're making television, it doesn't just exist on that square box in your living room anymore. Obviously, um, you know the streaming, the big streaming services, the new SVODs, you know people like uh, Facebook and Google announcing television. Um, there's so many big big players out there. In a way, it's like sort of a, a Grand Prix for advertisers, I would think, you would have your pick. Um, I think the content level of television has risen to a point where, you know, I, it would be challenging to get somebody into a movie theater. You have to do something really unique and different. Everyone's upping their game. Um, I think some of the television brands are still very meaningful and powerful worldwide, but I think it's, you know, it's no longer a closed environment you you are not the only game in town and you really have to play you know f with very high stakes i think to get people to notice you and to get people to want to do business with you and you know it's 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 much more difficult more challenging and probably more exciting you know they're in the reinvention business all the time now i think even the question's interesting because you say what about television i mean now television's a device you know net television is just one of the many th is just one of the 26 ways in which we consume content. So this idea that there's a thing called television and a thing that isn't that is such an old construct, you know, it's storytelling across the board. Nick Fowley, what do you hope, uh, you'll have a room packed of media buyers, uh, brands, agency people, what do you want them to take away from tonight? Um, I want them to take out the checkbooks. No, I, I, um, I want them to be really, uh, to stop and think about the fact that um, as new generations emerge, just the first people, the first people, the first industry that a new generation hits is, is entertainment, is pop culture. So and it's, it's happening right now, right under everybody's noses. Here comes a new generation, and just like millennials reinvented entertainment, these guys are gonna do it as well. So the, I want to make them thoughtful about that. 
and stop and think, who do we talk to about that? Who do we have that conversation with? Who do we start to engage with around how to speak to that new generation?